Yo, what up? This is Disaster. We live at URL Armageddon. This is War Room Sports TV. Com. We out here, man. You already know. What's up, War Room Nation? Welcome to Operation Battle Rap, brought to you by War Room Sports. This is, of course, the show we talk about and treat the battle rap community like the sport it is. I'm your host, Jimmy, at JW the Blueprint on Twitter. We got a small roundtable today. It's a special episode. We have Kyrie at SnowmanWL662. That's on Twitter. And we have from the Google Plus community, Sam at What Was You Thinking on Twitter. But he's, uh, you know, one of the top guys on Google Plus in terms of talking battle rap. So we brought him on to uh, give out some awards for 2012. Um, and before we start, I want, definitely want to give a shout out to that community over there on Google Plus because that's a growing community. You know, we talk a lot of battle rap all over the internet. Facebook, of course, so shout out to those groups, the 750 Debate Group, as well as the Unbiased Review Group, you know. Um, and also shout out to, uh, you know, my people from thebars.com because we debate on Twitter all day long. So, um, you know, we're just keeping the culture growing by, you know, arguing and debating different battles, who's better than who, and this, that, and the third. But for those who don't know, there's a nice little community on Google Plus that's growing. So we decided to bring Sam on and, um, you know, talk about 2012 as we saw it. So with that being said, gentlemen, some of the uh, awards we want to give out today, we want to talk about who's the most improved battler, who is the comeback battler of the year for 2012, who is the rookie of the year, um, give me like your top three battles, and you know, last but not least, we can go with battle of the year. But we're going to start with uh, who you guys consider the most improved in your opinion. Um, Kyrie, I'll start with you. Uh, in 2012, who do you think was the most improved battle? <coughs> most improved? I went with uh, Mav, actually. Most improved? Okay. Yeah. Um, now, why do you say that? I think he's he's uh, he's gotten a lot better at doing bars, actually, instead of just relying on bullying people. Okay. And ever since the Calico battle, I mean, he's he showed up against Marv with bars, not just bullying. And he's you no know, arsenal, so he's getting he's gotten a lot better. In my eyes. Okay, all right, that's that's a good choice. Um, Sam, in your opinion, who did you have as being the most improved? Uh, my most improved. You're gonna think it's weird at first, but I'm gonna say JC. You know, flow with me for a second. JC battled in the in, in, hold on, in the end of 2011. He battled um, Luciani Crack. Yeah. So that doesn't make him a rookie, and that battle was I mean it just wasn't impressive to me. Now look at his 2012. And look at how he beasted on everybody he battled to the point where at the end of the year he was battling Young Ill. You don't go from like meager beginnings to like. No, that's a know. good point. I didn't even think about that. Now you got me like rethinking <laughs> who, I, who I was going to choose. Uh, my most improved battler, to be honest with you, is um, somebody different than both of you guys. So I have Tay Rock, and I'm going to tell you why. Everybody lie. remembers Tay Rock um, in the Charlie Clips battle and, you know, how Clips just went crazy on him. But to me, Tay Rock is improving with every battle. Um, even though, you know, um, I picked Cortez in his last battle, and he kind of got mad at me on Twitter, you know, shot the Tay Rock anyway. But, you know, to me, he's the most improved. Every battle I see him, he's getting better and better. And he's like, you know, I don't like to do the top tier, mid tier. I don't like to do that because that's, that helps people duck each other and say, well, he's not top tier. But to me, he's up there with the best at this point, And you can definitely see the improvement in terms of um, the battle with him and Clips and where he is now. Like, his confidence is better, and, you know, his bars are getting better. You know what I mean? So my most improved would be Tay Rock. Kyrie is saying math, and I can't disagree with that because math's on a tear. And Sam has JC. And I, I like that JC pick because I didn't even think about it that way. Like, you know, I didn't think about him as being the most improved. But from that battle with Luciano Crack, he's definitely, <laughs> you know, he's in a whole different, whole different planet right now. Yeah, pretty much. All right, well, this is something that, you know, kind of could go hand-in-hand hand with most improved. Who do you have as the comeback battle of the year? And I'm going to start with you, Kyrie. When I say comeback battle of the year, who would you have as, you know, having the biggest comeback? Um, I would I would like to give it a tie between Surf and Khan, but I'm going to give it to Surf because I think he won that battle. Are you giving the comeback battle of the year based on that one battle, though? That's his only battle yeah. of the year. But to come back and put out a classic, I mean, come on. I mean, this is true, but, you know, I got a whole I mean, different opinion. I guarantee you a lot of people that do shows like this will give Lux comeback. They'll give Lux battle of the year off of one battle, so why can't he win it? Because if you're talking about giving it to Surf off of one battle, then 
Lux had one battle, and it's not even on a matter of fact. Let's just go to Sam. Sam, who's your <laughs> you, who's your comeback battle? Of your Kyrie already said it. It's Lux, man, because you got to look at the impact that Lux's battle had on battle rap. Period. The, I mean, he single handedly brought two million yeah. views to the culture. Like, look at the battle. Check out the battle on YouTube. Uh, yeah, and, so. and, and, and it's even. <clears throat> And I don't even have him as my comeback battle of the year, because but I know what you mean in terms of the impact of that battle, and we'll probably talk about that later on. My comeback battle of the year is sort of like Kyrie's most improved. I also have Math as being a comeback because his showing um, in Summer Madness 1 against Calico was probably one of the worst showings we've ever seen from Math. But since then, like you said, Kyrie, when you gave him most improved, he's been going crazy. Bars, bars, bars um, in the Arsenal battle. Um, just just in general, like all his battles ever since that battle is like he's on the tear, and now he's got something crazy like four battles in a couple months, something like that, right? So you know, this guy, in my opinion, is the comeback battle of the year because he's always been considered a top tier battler ever since the Smack DVD days, and you know everybody thought that he was done after the Calico battle, but this just shows you that you know ain't about how you fall, it's about how you bounce back. And in my opinion, I would give him the comeback battle of the year. Kyrie, I still think you're crazy for that surf pick because if you're talking about somebody with one battle, how could you pick surf over Lux? But that's either here nor there. I'm going to let the people in the comment section bash you. And also, his Twitter is at snowmanwl662. But you already know how I feel about the Lux and Calico battles. Not a classic to me. But, but, but we're talking about individual awards. We're not talking about that battle. We're talking about an individual award in terms of having a comeback. Okay. Do you think okay. that surf's performance against Khan was better than Lux's performance against Calico? No. Well, there you go. This is an individual award again. You know what I mean? This is, I get you. You know what I mean? So, you know, with that being said, though, let's move on. I'm going to let the people send you the hate mail. Um, I welcome let's talk, it all. Let's talk about our rookie of the year. Now, um, Sam, I'm going to start with you, although I know who you're going to you pick. Everybody you on Google Plus knows who you're going to pick. So, you are, Sam, yep. who is your rookie of the year? Chill Jones. Easy. Dude is an alien. I, I just <laughs> – those schemes, man – some people, I, I mean, I know some people don't think, don't like him. It's it's insane to me the stuff this dude comes up with, man, yeah. and how calculated he is. Especially, I mean, he kind of showed it in the B Magic battle with the with the Big Wallace turn Chris Angel thing. The dude is calculated, man. When he says that he's tactical and he has to prove it, he mean that, man. That's without a doubt, Chilla Jones. Easy. Chilla Jones, Chilla Jones, easy. <laughs> Kyrie, rookie of the year. I also agree with that. Chilla Jones is definitely the rookie of the year. Yeah, definitely. and you know what? There's not even much to talk about this. This is unanimous. I don't know who else could be considered rookie of the year. Um, I know some people consider him like the battle of the year, but we'll get into that later. But to me, rookie of the year is, is you know, clearly no debating. Chilla Jones. Yeah. It's nothing else really to talk about. <laughs> Seriously. Now, this one will be interesting. Let's talk about our top three battles of 2012. Their top three. Um and they don't have to be URL, although, you know, we seem to be URL heavy because that's what we like. Um, I know Kyrie's probably going to pick some obscure league in, like, <laughs> Indonesia, like the Indonesian Battle League because he likes watching them, like, you know, off-brand battles. But with that being said, though, um, Sam, I'm going to start with you this time. Give me your top uh, three battles in, in no particular order. Give me top three battles. Unless you want to get to in order, you can do that too. On my top three, no particular order, um, I, I got to throw Charlie Clips and Big T in there. I, that's a late scratch because I had a different battle there, but um, – I actually was watching that right before we came up here. Um, again, okay. And that was. I mean, I'm a big Charlie Clips fan, and that's the only battle I could say that he had. People want to argue Sirius Jones won, where he, where he had like some competition where it wasn't like him throttling somebody. He throttled everybody. He battled to me, but um, his one against Big T was it was pretty neck and neck. And the fact that he had that second round where he was teetering, you know, where they was booing him, and he just turned it around and did that T-Mobile line, man, and got Chicago behind him like that. To me, that that was that was a big battle. That was one of them. The other one, the obvious Lux Calico. I know Kyrie don't like it. He don't think it's a major battle. But like I said earlier, <laughs> that battle brought me back into the culture, man. <laughs> That's like you know that one brought me back in. I can't, I can't, I can't snub that one. And J C Chiller Jones, definitely. Yeah. That's the best battle I've seen this year. That battle, and for it to be a one-off, you know, the environment was perfect. They was both going crazy in there. Um, that that battle was was. That's my number one behind Lux and Cal and then the big team. I, I've got a question for you, though, because you said that I know that I know we first got on because you had something different. You scratched it for uh, Big uh, T and um, Clips. What battle did you – you don't have to give me a breakdown of the battle. What battle did you scratch it and put that up there? Sue Surf, Big T. That was the, my other third one. 
and I took that one out for the Charlie Clips or on Charlie okay. Clips Big T one. Okay. Um, now I think, but the funny thing is, that I think that battle was actually eleven. I think it came out. Uh, what Kyrie? When, when was that battle? When was that battle? Was that eleven or twelve? Um, it happened. Oh, it happened. But it came out. I think like eleven or eleven months ago or something like that. Yeah, it said eleven months ago on YouTube, but I've I've heard people say that too that it happened like before. It happened before. Okay. Yeah. All right. Cool. All right. Cool. All right. Well, we got your three. So you got you got Big T clips. Um, you got uh, of course Lux Cal, and mm -hmm. you got uh, JC. JC. Now, Kyrie. Yep. Let's see Kyrie give us something from the West African Battle League. Kyrie, um, <laughs> what are your top three battles? <laughs> what are your top three battles of uh, 2012? This was actually hard for me because I have a lot of favorite battles, but uh, I'm going to go uh, Surf and Con. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go JC Chilla. Okay. And um, Pat Stathosaurus. Pat Stathosaurus. Yeah. Okay, that's interesting. So that, that, do you think that battle was the top three of the year? Um, you, I'm doing my favorites. <laughs> no, man, no, I understand you're doing your favorites. I mean, this is your favorite. You know, like I said. I mean, people don't like Uno, Lavos, Uno Lavos is one of my favorite battlers, and I know he's horrible. <laughs> but, but, but no, not that, that's point. not what I'm saying. He's, he's funny as hell, though. But that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying exactly. is, in your personal opinion, you think this was the top three battle of the year. Yeah. So this is a I've lot watched, of dope battles. I've watched Pat State the source. Several times, I I love that. Battle. No, it was it was a dope battle. It was a dope battle. I'm just thinking about top three now. My top three in, in no particular order. This was definitely difficult for me because um, like everybody else, I like the surf con battle. Um, it's recent. I don't want to be a prisoner at the moment. But my top three in no particular order um would have to be well. First off, let's let's just get it out there. Lux and Calico is in my top three, and. I, I know Kyrie says, well, it wasn't a great battle because it really wasn't a back-and-forth battle, and that's what he likes. But the impact of this battle was crazy. I mean, dude was on Howard Stern, for Christ's sakes. Forget forget everything that Lux happened. I've actually been in business meetings with, uh, you know, white-collar guys, you know, white guys in their middle-aged white guys who start talking about, you going to get this work, or have you seen that's this battle? I mean, people that I would never imagine even watch the stuff, let alone talk about it. Like, this has become part of, like, pop culture at this point. This whole you don't get this work thing or look at me, King. Like, it, it the, the, you know, and the thing is, I've been watching battle rap since the smack days, too raw for the streets and all them old DVDs. You know what I mean? But now to see guys and I'm like, yo, you watch battle rap? Like, you, you'd you be surprised at the people that actually watch this stuff. Like, we all know that, you know, in the urban community, a lot of us love it. But you'd be surprised at the people that kind of watch this stuff. And Lux and Calico was an example of that because I guess it was getting passed around so much on um, social media. But Impact of that battle is beyond belief, in my opinion. So that's definitely a top three. Um, JC Chilla, to me, probably is number one. Uh, the best battle, bar for bar. That's like the, the new age version of uh, Lux and Mook. They were going crazy. And I watched that battle probably myself 10,000 times. Like, that's an amazing battle. You know, salute to both of them. But the one battle, also another battle, I think, was one of the top of 2012, and nobody named yet, was um, Averb and Hitman Hollow. And I love this battle. Verb's third round was like some old, like, yo, know, like, yo, know, I don't even know. It was like some eight mile type stuff. Like, when he hit his third round and he said, yo, Big Gerald, like, I got chills watching it. You know what I mean? Pause. But, like, yo, watching that battle and that third round, that, that's like classic. I felt like I was watching eight mile. Like, that was like, you know, B Rabbit or something like it's it's crazy, man. Like to me, that was one of the best battles of the year. And and thing is, Hollow was getting off on that battle. Hollow was like, you know, barring him away, and you know, Hollow is a great performer. But Verb's third round and that battle in general, the fact that you know these guys were, you know, friends or whatever, and they were in their hometown and going the whole story with the battle. You know what I mean? Like that, to me, that's a great battle. It has to be one of the best battles. You know, honorable mention, of course. Like I thought about that Surf and T battle, but I thought that was the year before. But that was definitely a great battle. Um. It's been a lot of great battles this year. It's hard to like nail down three, but those would be my top three. Lux Calico has to be there. JC Chiller is probably number one, but that Verb and Hitman battle is also one of the top battles of 2012 in my personal opinion. Yeah. Now, with that being said, let's get down to the uh, the biggest award, the Battler of the Year. And I'm anxious to see what you guys have to say about this. Sam, I'm gonna start with you. All right, like well, like I. Like I say, I'm, I'm relatively new. I'm just returning in August, so I only know what I've watched. So really, my year has been August to now, or whatever, August to December. Um, 
But one thing has remained constant. All the battles I've seen, all the events I've seen this year, T-Rex has been out there chopping people up. Mm -hmm. um, he, I, I don't know how many battles he had this year, but I know he had a lot. I know I've seen a lot from him this year. And I really ain't seen him lose. Arguably, against Arsenal in the third round, he was kind of wavering. But um, mm -hmm. I had to give it to T-Rex, man. I, yeah, I, it's, it's, it's funny because... I've had this debate, like, um, not on the show, but uh, on different websites, and his name always comes up in terms of being one of the battles of the year. So, you know, salute the Rex, because he uh, definitely has some bars. Although some of the cats he battled, like, you know, questionable. But that's either here nor there. He definitely <laughs> yeah. had a great year. Um, Kyrie, what's your opinion? Who had the best year in 2012? Uh, for my entertainment purposes, I'm going to say Chilla Jones. Okay. Okay, and I mean know, he has uh, M City, Cash Eaton, J C, B Magic, all classic battle, all great battles. Yeah, I mean yeah. Rex has battled a ton of times, but he's battled a bunch of nobodies. And I like quality over quantity, I guess is how you would say it. Yeah, and okay. believe it or not, um, and I know I'm gonna take slack for this because he's also the rookie of the year, but I'm gonna have to go with Chilla too. And it's kind of what you said, Kyrie. You know I'm a B huge B Magic fan. I thought B Magic beat Chilla Jones. Um. But at the end of the day, that was a classic battle, even with the choke, that was a classic battle. Then you then you look at the M City battle, like M City got busy. And the funny thing about Chilla is if you look at the he arguably has three classics. Like I'm talking about three classics. You talk about the M City battle, you talk about the B Magic battle, and the J C that's no doubt a classic. Um and some may say that well B Magic can't be a classic because of the choke, but in my opinion, that's a classic battle. B Magic had a hell of a 2012, and Kyrie probably thought I was gonna pick B Magic, but no, I didn't. I didn't. Yeah. But Chilla, Chilla, to me, you know, some will argue Lux, even though it was just one battle. But honestly, when you think about like replay value, and that's the thing about Chilla battle. Like some of them schemes you, you talked about, Sam, how people don't like them, but the replay value is through the roof. Um, yeah. The, the thing about Chilla that I've always I'm, I'm gonna cut you. The thing about Chilla that I've always realized is that. As many times as I've seen his battles, I always catch something new. I, I will, oh, yeah. oh wow! I just caught that one every time. Yeah, yeah. his his pen game is, is is out of this world. And another thing is, we talk about like J C or M City or B Magic. Like he brought the best out of them. That was the best B Magic I've seen. That was the best J C I've seen. And that was the best M City I've seen. Uh -huh. I'm looking forward to see what M City does after that because M City went crazy that battle. You know what I mean? So uh -huh. it's like he kind of. You know, to see Chilla in all those battles and all those guys, like, put out their best performance, in my opinion, it kind of, like, makes you want to see what they're going to do next. Um, so, for me, Chilla Jones is the battle of the year in 2012 and the rookie of the year. How crazy is that? But uh, I can see people going Rex, although my argument against Rex would be some of the guys that he faced because, let's face it, some of the guys he faced, I just, like, fast forward their parts. I'm going to hear what Rex got to say. <laughs> and, you know, it's kind of like Kyrie says about the Lux battle, although I disagree because I thought Cal was okay. Um, you know, no, everybody loves a back and forth battle. That's why we love the Big T Sue Surf. That's why we love the Sue Surf Con battle. We love to see people go back and forth. Like, okay, now what you gonna say? He said that. You know what I mean? Yeah. And Chilla has brought that out of you know three cats and arguably three of the best battles. And let's not forget, was the Cash Eating battle too? He went crazy. Mm -hmm. I don't think I don't think that was as back and forth as the other ones because I think Chilla. It was a one. Him. It was a one rounder. And that's another thing. I don't really don't like to judge one round battle. Because Cash Eaton is not I think about it. Cash Eaton was dope too. Uh -huh. I don't think he was on Chill's level, but he was dope. But those those other battles, man, like you know, his pen game is just out of this world. The uh the J C one, of course, being the battle of the year in my opinion, like but then you talk about the B Magic. You know what I mean? Like, come on, man. Like to me, he has to be the the battle of the year. Like there's other great candidates, like you said, Rex, some people said Lux. Um, I mean, even JC has a long resume this year, but JC definitely has a long resume. He was up there, in my opinion, too, in terms of the battle of the year. But I can't think of someone who's like you know who's the common denominator in three classic battles. JC's not because uh, he battled some um, in some of Kyrie's favorite leagues, like you know the Indonesian Battle League and stuff like that. <laughs> Those all he went to some of the off-brand leagues and um you know just watch people, you know. Yeah. Although I did think he did personally, I think he lost the black heart, but that's a whole other story. But, um, you know, that being said, man, to me, the battler of the year is uh, Chilla Jones. Um, now let me get another a question to you guys. 2013, what is your prediction of being a battler of the year? I'm not going to ask you the best battles because we don't know what battles are coming down. I'm not going to ask you the best rookie, but in terms of battler of the year, 
Who do you think will be a, a top candidate for Battle of the Year in 2013? I'm going to start with you, Sam. Oh, man, on the spot. Um, <laughs> That's how I like to do on the spot question. You ain't know about this one. All right, based on, based on what Charlie Cliff said in his blog about the 2013 he's going to have and what he got coming up, I'm going to go with Clips just because he learned a lesson in that third round against Sirius Jones where he, I guess he's been taking his third rounds off where he figured he can go in with some material and freestyle it. And he's yeah. like, that's not happening no more. And I believe in Clips. <laughs> so yeah. I think I think if he if, if he sets off, if he has more than, he usually battle like twice a year. If he gets three to four battles under his belt, okay, I think it, I think it might be Clips. No doubt. Kyrie, early opinion, 2013. Um, I, I might have to go with Clips too because he did say he's hungry again. But uh, uh, this is a hard one. Um, yeah, it is. <laughs> I want to say math also because he already got four battles in the month just the year just started. I mean, <laughs> it's kind of hard to say. I mean, you know, what's funny. What's funny is that that's my pick. I'm gonna go with math just because, like, yeah, he's, he's gonna be hungry again, and you know, he already got stuff locked in. So I'm gonna. I would have to go with math. I see hard. what you got to say about clips though, because I'm definitely a Charlie Clips fan. So. We'll see what happens. And like you said, it is definitely hard to pick who you think ahead of time because you don't know how many battles you're going to have. You know. But anyway, man. B- Big T said he's only battling three times this year, I believe. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, it's hard to say. I don't know who who's going to battle. Yeah, yeah. And, of course, you're going to have the same guys we just mentioned depending upon how much work they put in. What you say, Sam? At first, I thought you said the battle of the year. And I, I don't know what the battle of the year is going to be, but I know that everybody's anticipating this potential hollow versus Lux thing. And it's probably if if it happens, it's probably gonna be the only time Lux battles all year. I don't know him personally, I'm just guessing. But if yeah. that happens, no matter what the outcome is, it's gonna be huge because yeah. everybody's looking at it. It's loaded Lux again. It's Hollow who hasn't battled since Goods, I believe. Um, so you know I think I think that's so gonna hit, be most interesting. Was, was the Hitman Hitman was after Goods, wasn't he? Was um, he? Um, yeah. Yeah, he battled uh, Hitman after Goods. Okay, well. Uh, but you know what though? Um Here's the thing about that. I'm gonna I'm I'm be completely honest. I'm definitely looking forward to that battle, and um, wherever it is, I'll be there. But it seems to me like when battles like that happen, where they're highly anticipated, like they never live up to it. <laughs> but that's, you know, nothing you know can pass I mean? the hype. There's nothing can pass the hype, and it's always a battle on that undercard that just like you know goes crazy. So we'll see if that happens. Um, I, I like to see that happen. I like to see B Magic and Khan get in there and just punch each other to death. Um, so there's a lot of battles I'm looking forward to, but in terms of battle year, I would probably say um, math just based upon what he already has. Just as a, you know, it's an early pick. We never know how this year will end up. But, you know, with that being said, man, everybody watching, don't forget to comment, subscribe. Um, you can go to facebook.com slash sports. We argue uh, traditional sports all day long. In terms of, like, battle rap, we're arguing battle rap on Twitter. Don't forget to look um, for those on Google Plus and those who never use Google Plus. Come on and try to platform out because um, it's, it's definitely a dope platform in, in terms of arguing battle rap. Like Sam has started a community and is growing, and you know, is is actually one of the best platforms to argue battle rap on. Believe it or not, oh, yeah. you know what it I mean. Is. It is 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 a lot better than you know Facebook or Twitter because Twitter now is crazy when we argue in battle rap. We have seventy four people at, at and you really get to. You know what I mean? Like, it's crazy, but Google Plus is a great community to argue battle rap. So um, if, if you want to, you know, try it out, you can hit me up, look up Sam um, on Google Plus, or um, matter of fact, I'll give you my Google Plus too, and I'll, you know, send you into the community. As a matter of fact, I'll put it right here, my little Google Plus, uh, you know, thing. So at any rate, man, Sam, thanks for joining us, man. We appreciate the work you're putting on over in that platform to build that out because, like, you, like I said, we already have Facebook and Twitter. You know, but you're building it out on that platform. We appreciate it. Well, uh, thanks. You know, appreciate so, you having me on, man. Absolutely. And Sam is also on uh, Twitter, by the way. And what was you thinking? I'll put it in the description, and you can see it below, you know, his name. Kari, as usual, man, go back and watch your independent battle leagues, you know, West Africa and Indonesia and, and you know, ah, the Malaysian shout battle league. Shout out to the Ozone Battle League. <laughs> <laughs> And of course, man, you know, you can, you can find me on Twitter arguing all day long at JW the Blueprint. And you can also, you know, send your hate mail into the comment section here. I love it all. But until next time, everybody, don't accept mediocrity and be steadfast in the war against ignorance. We out of here. The wait is the war room with five nights at the round table, five Philly guys diversified and educated.